Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the issues that maybe I'm having with my GoPros. Um, as you can see here, kind of in front of you, um, you know, I'm not a one-time GoPro owner. I've owned uh, a multitude of GoPros here. Um, and I guess maybe I've kind of hit my final straw with GoPro. Um, the last um, camera that I bought, which was the Hero Black 7, um, obviously using all of their uh, their own product that goes with it as well as you know their charging systems so that you know I'm using their chargers their batteries their everything just so that there's no real problems um, this camera has been garbage almost right from the very start um, I was having some issues with it I thought maybe it was just me so I never returned the camera um, but you know I bought this camera um, hoping that I could replace my uh, hero sessions which I still have one left I sold one and I lost one so when I lost one of my sessions I thought you know what um, I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna buy a hero black 7 um, some of the issues that I don't like about the session or, sorry not some only issue I don't like about the hero session is that uh, there's no place to put a battery into it so basically you get that amount of charging or that amount of filming out of it and then there's no way uh, to swap out a battery so we basically have to just charge it which to me is the only fault that I can find with the camera other than that these things have been rock steady and I and I love them um, can't say that about the Hero 7 don't like it um, had tons of problems with it um, where it overheats um, you can see in this video here that it's overcast. It's quite cool. I'm in Canada, so I'm sitting between somewhere between 15 and 18 degrees Celsius. So definitely no reason for this camera to overheat. It's cloudy. There's no direct sun. The whole day is like this. So for the camera to overheat or to have a little wrench that comes on in the front and then not record just drives me nuts. Um, I know some guys might say, well, this could be a problem with the... Uh, the video card definitely not a problem with the video card i'm using good quality video cards so they're the uh, sandisk um, 64 gigabyte class 10 micro sds um, th they're good the video card that this happened to happened first in my hero 7 uh, when i saw the wrench on the front of it because i don't have any trust in this camera i decided you know what i'm going to grab my hero session i plugged the video card from the Hero 7 black into the session and it worked fine. I shot the rest of my video. Thank goodness that it actually worked throughout the rest of the day and I was able to have some some catching footage for for catching fish. I don't know if you can see it here. There's a line that runs through this whole entire video and it basically it just loops itself and you'll see the the fishing or the sorry the trolling motor here just kind of moves a little bit so I don't know it's maybe a second long and it just loops itself over and over and over and over and over and it won't play um, I'm using I've tried using some of my other software to render it just to make sure it's not an issue just with the GoPro quick software that it's actually an issue and it is it's an issue with um, all of my video editing software that I have so I have three different copies of it I've got the quick um, and I've got two other ones and and honestly, you know what it 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 just it doesn't work. So um, I've had problems with GoPro in the past and then you kind of look at it and say, you know what? They're one of the only cameras that are out there that are uh, basically for action uh, shooting outside in the elements and and you know what because of that I've kind of stuck with them. This is a GoPro Hero 3 white um, this camera overheated burned itself out i then i went out and i bought a gopro hero 3 black brand new again good like you know i'm not buying cheap cameras they're good cameras or they should be for the amount of money that you're spending on them and that one lasted just over a year and it burned out so threw it out um, this one is the hero uh it's the second generation regular standard hero um only thing i don't like about this one again is that it doesn't have a battery to swap out on otherwise you know what this isn't a bad camera um, and I think it has to do with features and stuff that are on it that you know the Hero 7 um, black has just too many features and it creates some issues inside of the camera it's not a usability thing it's not a user issue it's the camera it just it is not I don't trust it um, 
This one here, I took the back off. The only other thing I don't like about it is I took the back off because I couldn't hear, or I couldn't get any audio on the camera because it was muffled and it wasn't working. Um, predominantly, most of my videos are shot underwater. These cameras do not go in the water. I'm not using them as underwater cameras. Um, they're too expensive to do that with. I, these ones, they're not waterproof, so I wouldn't, I would never ever do that. Um, basically right now, you know what, I'm at the point where, you know, I had the session, I liked the session, it was, it was a good camera, um, and I sold it when I bought the Hero 7, and, um, and I, and I probably shouldn't have. The Hero Session was a much better camera than the, than the Hero 7 is. Um, so you can see here, there's, I don't have the volume on right now, but you know what, um, it, I've got 20 fish that I've missed of video capturing footage, um, basically because this is it. There's 10 videos, um, so we're talking 120 minutes of recording of this, and uh, didn't know that it was an issue, um, just, I, I don't know. GoPro, I guess I'm disappointed. I, I'm not happy with, with your product, um, and, uh, and and I don't, I. I'm not going to buy another GoPro. You've lost my trust as a consumer. So, um, yeah. So, guys, I'm basically looking to try and figure out what you guys like in cameras, what you guys are shooting, um, because I can't trust this camera anymore. Um, I can't trust that this is that this is what's going to happen if I have a good day or if I have some really good footage or, or I catch a really big fish. And this is what I get to show you. It just doesn't work for me. Um, it's part of what I do and what I enjoy doing. And and uh, and if you can't trust the camera, then then it's not a good it's not a good tool to have uh, throughout the day. Guys, thanks for listening to my rant. Um, again, if there's a camera that you guys like, please let me know. I'm I mean I'm obviously looking for something that's durable. So I, I you know I'd be a little bit concerned about looking at a, a Rebel XTI or or uh, you know something a bigger camera like that as well um, you know that's fine for ice fishing when I'm out there in the winter but you know out on the on the kayak here I have limited amount of space so definitely don't want a lot of that on there but again enough of my rant so uh, guys thanks for watching um, and again please please leave me your comments you know I, I, uh, I really am curious to see what kind of video capturing uh, devices you guys are using thanks again have a nice day.